Green, please okay. join me in giving a warm welcome to the Right Honorable Stephen Harper. Good evening, everyone. Bonjour à tous. First of all, friends, let me just begin by thanking my introducer. I've known Linda a very long time. She's been a great supporter and friend of mine back when things weren't so easy in uh, our political lives. We've always appreciated that, and it is a real honor to have her serving with us in our caucus in the Parliament, and she does a great job for everybody here. So give her a big hand for everything she's doing for Canada. And I also want to put, thank uh, CJ Pack tonight for putting together this terrific event. On behalf of the Government of Canada and indeed the entire Conservative team, I want to commend you for the important work that you're doing. You are engaging all kinds of people, but particularly young professionals, in causes that are important. Il importe particulièrement de nous solidariser et de témoigner contre l'antisémitisme particulièrement durant cette semaine quand, quand on nous rappelle que l'antisémitisme s'est infiltré dans nos universités. Of course, one of the important causes you stand for is the opposing of anti-Semitism. And it is especially important during a week in which we're reminded that anti-Semitism has gained a foothold on our campuses. You know, at one time, friends, we could have expected threatening behavior towards Jewish students to be rejected in any form at institutions of higher learning. Unfortunately, it is now often the behavior of the anti-Israeli mob that is allowed to prevail. I am sure that many of you here tonight have faced this anti-Semitism firsthand. This is, of course, a threat to our basic values as Canadians, a threat to the tolerant and welcoming society that we have tried to create for all our citizens, including, of course, Canadian Jews. And friends, as serious as it is, sadly, it is not by any means limited to Canada. Comme je l'ai dit déjà, L'antisémitisme évolue et le nouvel antisémitisme menace la planète entière. Ses visées sont toujours aussi grossières, mais son argumentation est plus subtile et dans certains milieux intellectuellement acceptable, aussi choquant que cela puisse paraître. As I've said before, antisémitisme is evolving, and the new antisémitisme is a global threat. Its aims are as crude as ever. But its argumentation is more sophisticated and, I'm sorry to say, in some circles, intellectually acceptable, disturbingly so. This new anti-Semitism harnesses disparate anti-Semitic, anti-Western, and anti-American ideologies. And it targets the Jewish people by targeting Israel, which it depicts as a source of injustice and conflict in the world perversely, using the language of human rights to do so. Nous devons travailler sans relâche à dénoncer ce nouvel antisémitisme pour ce qu'il est. We must be relentless, relentless and uncompromising in exposing this new antisémitisme for what it is. Now, friends, that doesn't mean that you have to agree or that our government agrees with all the positions of the government of Israel. But it does mean that we believe fundamentally that Israel has a right to exist and just as importantly that we recognize that the conflict around Israel is at its heart, at its core, about the refusal of still too many to accept the reality of a Jewish state in the Middle East, but Israel is here to stay. Now, as all of you know, I think our government has taken a stand when Israel, the only truly democratic country in that region, and the only country whose very existence, the only country in the world whose very existence is under attack, 
When Israel is consistently and conspicuously singled out for condemnation, we are morally obligated to stand up against that. And, and as I've said before, as you know, we have stood against it and we have the bruises to show for taking that stand. Friends, I think you know, I think everybody here knows, when you hear our opponents say Canada, they will say, has lost its influence, Canada, they claim, our foreign policy, they claim, has lost its balance, Canada, they complain, is no longer an honest broker. When you hear those and other vague generalities, my friends, you know exactly what that is code for. It is code for the view that Canada should go back to being ambivalent about our relationship with Israel and its fundamental right to exist and to defend itself. Our party will never do that. We will always stand by our friends in Israel. Il y a une différence, une différence fondamentale et morale entre un Israël démocratique dont l'existence est menacée et les agresseurs antisémites qui le menacent. There is a fundamental difference, a fundamental moral difference between a democratic Israel whose existence is threatened and the anti-Semitic aggressors who threaten it. You know it, I know it, and deep down, they know it too. So we do support Israel, not just, my friends, because it is the right thing to do, which it is, but also because history has shown us over and over again that those who threaten the existence of the Jewish people are ultimately a threat to all of us. Indeed, friends, if you look at the terrorist threats that Israel faces, they are of exactly the same ideological origins of those who threaten terrorism against our country, against Canada. The only difference is that the threats against us, between the threats against us and the threats against Israel, are those are more numerous and they are closer to Israel. Now, friends, there are as you know, some interesting developments in that region of the world. Some of them are good. The overthrow of despots, the call for change, many call for a lot of change along values we understand and agree with. So a new chapter is being written there, but one, frankly, whose conclusions we don't know the, out we don't know, uh, the outcome of yet. So we can, ass we can assure you that we're going to watch this very closely and we're going to remain vigilant. Look, uh, Grandir le spectre de l'antisémitisme, notre responsabilité est de plus en plus claire. Nous, devons, nous sommes des, des citoyens d'un pays libre. Nous, nous avons le droit et donc l'obligation de parler et d'agir. Friends, as the specter of antisemitism grows, our responsibility is increasingly clear. We are citizens of a free country. We have the right and thus we have the obligation to speak out and to stand up. In closing, I want to urge all of you who belong and who support CJPAC forward in your work. You are standing for the very values that go to the core of what both Canada and Israel are all about. Opposition to violence, to tyranny, to anti-Semitism, to all the related forms of racism and intolerance. And you are supporting freedom, democracy, justice for our fellow citizens, indeed, for all peoples. Thank you for all that you are doing. Be well. Merci beaucoup. À la prochaine.